Hi, and welcome back to the How to Make a Shooting Schedule series. I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. In this lesson, I'll be covering how to customize the layout of your schedule, as well as edit a scene. While most strip boards will look similar, each production is different and requires different information on the strip board. Studio Binder makes it easy to hide or show information on the strip board page. To do this, click the More Settings button here on the toolbar, then select Customize Columns from the drop-down menu. In the pop-up, you can adjust the toggles for the information you want to be displayed on the strip board. For example, I'm going to enable a script day option so I can indicate what day in the script a scene is in. This can be helpful when scheduling so you can schedule script days together. Another way of customizing the schedule is editing a scene's details. This allows you to change the time of day, scene setting, and more. To do this, click the More button for the scene you would like to edit, then select the Edit Details option in the drop-down menu. In the pop-up, adjust the details you would like to change. Now since I enabled the script day column earlier, I'm going to enter the script day for this scene here, and click Save Details. One thing to keep in mind when editing a scene's details is if you edit a detail that is in the script, like a time of day indicator, you will be prompted to update the screenplay or not to update the screenplay. Updating the screenplay will keep all of your edits synced even if the script is edited on the screenplay page and synced to the project later. Now, as you're building your schedule, you may need to make a quick edit to a scene. Rather than going to the screenplay page or your screenwriting software, you can make edits to scenes right from the stripboard page in Studio Binder. To do this, click the Preview Scene button for the scene you would like to edit. Then, in the pop-up, click the Edit Scene button here. Now, make any edits you need to, and click the Apply Changes button here, and you will be prompted again to update the screenplay or not to update the screenplay. Make your choice and select Apply Changes once again, and the changes will be made. And since I chose to update the screenplay, I can hop over to the screenplay page, scroll down to the scene, and see that the update has been made. And that is how to customize the layout of your schedule as well as edit a scene. In the next lesson, I'll be showing you how to create multiple variations of your schedule. Be sure to like and subscribe to be notified whenever new lessons are added. Again, I'm Brandon with Studio Binder Academy. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.